Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana is grinding higher into the resistance area, which is pretty much what we've been talking about in the previous video today. I shared with you the idea that we should move higher in this Y wave within wave B. So nothing has changed. Have to take the alternative of the chart that the B wave already topped. Um, and yeah, this ABC structure seems to be unfolding nicely. I take the micro count of the chart here. Don't need that. Um, bigger picture, honestly, I looked at it earlier in the earlier in the day. So feel free to check out my previous video. In this video, I just want to focus here on the microstructure, given that yeah, nothing has changed with regarding to the bigger picture. And we don't need to do that twice in a day. Um, the idea is that the structure here is still an unfolding correction. Um, surely it might turn into something more bullish, but without a break above $76, I can't really confirm that. Um, the short-term trend is up, okay, that's very clear. The short-term trend is up of the um, 21st of November lows. We have an A-wave to the downside, obviously, in this correction. Typically, corrections are ABC structures. So we've got an A wave to the downside. Yeah, This B wave to the upside is basically unfolding right now. And there is currently no sign that it has stopped. And it would take, at the very least, yeah, a break below the $61.60 level, at the very least, to indicate yeah, that this top has formed. Um, until then, the trend is up. And we just follow the uptrend, OK? so. Short term, the trend is being followed to the upside. Eventually, the ideal structure for me would be another dip in a C wave to form a nice and clear three wave structure here. That B wave can be high, absolutely no problem. B waves can overshoot. Ideally, not above the 1.38 Fibonacci retracement of the A wave, and that is at $76.14. Surely, sometimes they can even go beyond that. It is rare, but cryptos can do that. More important than the actual price that this B wave hits is the structure. And at the moment, what we see down there isn't impulsive, um, at least not clearly impulsive, and it looks very choppy. You see there is overlapping price action between this high and this low. Okay, So you just have very choppy structure. And it is very well aligned with the idea that we're currently in a B wave. I shared with you that this B wave can easily extend. Absolutely. So at the moment, it's not doing anything unusual. And it's also in line with the wave count I presented to you in the previous video that this is likely a WXY structure. And in the Y wave earlier today in my first video, we had seen the A wave and the B wave. And we're watching for another C wave rally. And I shared with you that this C wave is likely starting. As soon as or we have confirmation for the C wave, once we get a break above $64.50. And after the price broke above that level, we had another intraday rally of around 7%. 7 That's pretty good also for crypto. Um, so the question is now, okay, is this C wave over? So what is the ideal target range for this C wave? So a Y wave uh, is an ABC structure. It's a corrective structure three wave like so the way to determine a target is if we take the length of the wave one sorry a yeah we go to the low of the b wave and let me just check something let me just check something yeah it reached already my target okay it reached already my target i shared that earlier today on a, well an hour ago or so on telegram that uh, for gold members that the target range for the c wave starts at around about 69 dollars and 50 and it reached 69 dollars and 42 okay so it came very very close um and that's basically here the 100 percent extension level and it can still easily stretch higher okay so i mean such a c wave we only see a first reaction to that level again you can see how relevant these fib levels are just a line in the air but it's basically um yeah, a key level that a C wave typically reacts to. Now we need to see if the bears can drive the price down. But again, I have no evidence for it. It, it takes a break below that um, $61, yeah, $61.60, $61.50 level. 
at, at, a minim, at a minimum to indicate that this top is in place. Until then, we can still stretch higher. Next FIB extension target, $71.15, $74.40. Um, and that is normally the ideal range. Anything above that would already be less typical for a C wave within that B wave. Can't really share much more. Um, no, can't really share much more. There isn't more clarity we can get out of this chart. So, um, I mean, something I could imagine... It looks a bit like a, a parallel channel that could be um, forming here. So I'm not sure. Depends on how strongly this B wave really extends. I mean, maybe it's touching the trend channel again up there, right? So that would be quite aggressive though. But again, focus is on higher until we see a break below that um, swing low that I mentioned to indicate that this C wave to the downside is unfolding. Yeah, but overall, we're tracking bullish scenarios for Solana. This was really just a deep dive into the microstructure, bigger picture, fourth wave, and then a fifth wave. So eventually, we should still go higher to around about $79.50, $93, maybe even $113 in this fifth wave. That's my update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.